Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do another get ready with me. I'm going to first start out with priming my eyes with the Naked Weightless Concealer in Light Warm. I use my finger most of the time. I feel like it's better than using a beauty sponge. So I just warm it up all over my eye and create a nice base for my eyeshadow. Then I'm going to set my under eye with the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. This is amazing. If you guys have not tried this, you should definitely try it. I think it's like $2, I want to say. So I just use this and apply it all over my eyelid to create a nice base again for my shadow, but so it goes on smoothly and it doesn't stick on the concealer I use to prime my eyes with. That way your eyeshadow does not cake and it just has a smooth surface. Now I'm going to go in with, of course, the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. It is amazing. I still have not used all the shadows in this palette because there's so many. I'm going to go in with the shade Butter and use that as my transition shade. And I find that these eyeshadows are super, super easy to blend. Um, if you guys have not gotten your hand on this palette, I feel bad for you. Um, it's awesome. You guys definitely need to get this palette. It is great. It's definitely going to last me a long time. Like I said, there's still shadows that I haven't even been able to dip into yet. I tried to do a fun look today with brighter colors and just stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit. But they blend really well. All the bright and vibrant colors blend really well too. Um, I assume it's the way they've been pressed. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit, but I do go in with the next shade. I go in with Creamsicle. It is the best color ever. I love it for fall. I can't wait to do some fall looks. And the next shades I use is Jada. And I put that all in my crease following with the shade Diva. And I use that on top of Jada to kind of blend it out a little bit. This look kind of intimidated me a little bit, but I just went ahead and went with it anyways. Um, it was pretty fun. Um, I just had to step out of my comfort zone of always doing a smoky eye. I wanted to do a smoky eye, but with fun colors, bright colors. So now I'm just going in and I'm blending out so there's no harsh lines. And then on my eyelid, I am going in with Pool Party. It's probably my favorite color in this palette. It is beautiful. So again, just go in and blend it out some more. Take the tape off and you have a nice crease to work with. And dust away all the extra stuff. The eyeliner used on my eyelid is the NYX liner. And I'm going in with the e.l.f. BB cream. I'm obsessed with this. It is really dewy, so I know probably a lot of you guys would not like that, but I kind of like a dewy finish, and I'm not always one of those people that want to be completely matte. Um, I am concealing under my eye with the Nakus Weightless Concealer, concealer again in the shade Light Warm. I didn't want a very bright under eye today. I wasn't leaving the house or anything. I just wanted to get another video up for you guys so you guys could see a different look. <laughs> So again, I'm going to go in and I'm going to set under my eye with the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. You can tell I've already hit pan with this and I don't have a backup so I definitely need to go out and get another one. So, just set under your under eye to help your under eye not crease after you put the concealer under it. Usually when I set with this Wet n Wild powder, it stays all day. Sounds crazy for a $2 powder, but I think drugstore is the way to go for most items. Um, I really like it a lot, and I'm using an e.l.f. highlighter brush. I kind of like this brush, even though it's a highlighting brush. I do use it for highlight, too, but I just kind of like how um, petite it is. I like it to go under my under eye. And now I'm going to use another e.l.f. brush, just a big, like, knockoff Tom Ford brush. <laughs> I'm going to use it all over my face to set the rest of my um, foundation. Since it is a dewier foundation, I don't go in right with 
my bronzing powder. I don't feel like it would glide very well. So I'm going to set my face just like I did with my eyes before I put my eyeshadow on. Just gives my bronzer a little bit more of a base to glide onto. And yes, that is my dog in the background. <laughs> that is Bravo. Hey, Bravo. So now I'm going to go in with the other side of the contour palette and I'm going to bronze up my face. And that is a Sonia Kashuk brush from Target. Obsessed. She has a great line of brushes. I need to get some more. This one came in a kit of three. And I love them so much. They're a little pricier, but I like them a lot. Morphe also has really good brushes that are cheap as well. So I'm just going to get up on my forehead and my cheeks. Um, I'm not one of those people that go in and do like a really harsh contour line. Um, I just am not really a fan of that. I'd rather just use a light hand on my cheeks and bring it up on my forehead and my temples and of course under my jawline as well. Just bronze up my face and create a nice contour on my face without creating that harsh line on my cheek line. I did get a new lighting. It's like this little tiny ring light I got. Um, I think it helped out a lot compared to my last video. Um, hopefully I can get a bigger ring light one day and then an actual camera that can zoom and focus on certain products. So now I'm going to go in with that same palette and I'm just going to contour my nose. Um, I don't know what brush this is I'm using. It's an old brush. Um, but I'm going to contour my nose with that same palette. And then I'm going to go back in and blend that out. I need a good, br I need more brushes. I want to know what all you guys are using. Comment down below and tell me, guys, tell me what kind of brushes are your favorite. So I kind of um, fast forward a little bit. It's kind of boring watching other people do their eyebrows, but I do go in with the NYX Tame and Frame to do my eyebrows and it's a pomade. I like it, but I'm ready to try something new. And to coat my lashes today, I use the Boxum Mascara. Um, I really like this a lot. Um, I do apply false lashes in this video, but if I was to wear mascara by itself with no lashes, this lash, um, this mascara is great. And the lashes I'm using today are the Adele Wispy Lashes. Voila, they are on. I'm obsessed. Um, for a cheaper lash, I think that they look amazing. So now I'm going to buff under my waterline. I am going in with the shade Jada. Again, same shade that I used all over my crease. I love this color so much. Jada and Pool Party are amazing. One of my favorites. This was me trying to blend and look at the camera at the same time. Yeah, back to my mirror I go. <laughs> Did not work. And now I'm going to overlay that with Pool Party. Just kind of shimmer it up a little bit. Usually people buff out their waterline with a darker color, but that was not what I was going for today. So I am going over with Pool Party. 
just brightening up that under eye. Definitely stepped out of my comfort zone today. So this is a different mascara for my under eye. It's the Voluminous by L'Oreal. Um, I really like this mascara a lot. It tends to clump a lot on my upper lash. Um, that's why I like box them. It's a comb. And this one is just a bristle, bristle brush. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know what you guys, what y'all's favorite lashes are. And for my blush today, I'm going in with the Cheek Parade by Benefit. I love this palette. It is amazing. And the blush I'm using today has an amazing smell. It just smells tropical. I love it so much. And I think the shade is called Californian. Californian. Um, it's great. Great blush. I'm going to darken up my blushes a tiny bit, obviously, when fall's coming around, but it's going to be hard to let that one go. So now, of course, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Highlighting Palette by Casey Holmes, and it is one of my favorites. Um, I cannot seem to get away from this highlight. Again, using that e.l.f. highlighting brush. e.l.f. has stepped up their game, y'all. Really liking that brand lately. So now I'm going to go in with the NYX Lingerie. Um, I do two different shades. Uh, this one was a little too bubblegum pink for me, so I used a second one as well on top of it. And I really liked how it came out. And I do not remember the name of this lip gloss. It's completely crossed my mind. I will link it below though for you guys. The NYX Lingerie um, matte lipsticks are amazing. I mean they last all day. I love them so much. shade and then I'm going to go in again with a darker shade to darken up that lip a little bit. Kind of like create like a like a darker nude mauve pink. And that is the finished look on the lips. I really like how those two colors blended together. Now I'm going to set my eyebrows using the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. It is one of my favorites. I've only used a few other ones and this one just seems to work the best for me. It's definitely more cost friendly as well. I picked this one up at Ulta. That's the only place I've seen it at. So now I'm going to set my face with the NYX Matte Finish. I love this spray. It works amazing and my makeup stays put all day. And that is the completed look guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I really stepped out of my comfort zone, like I said, and tried to do a funner look for you guys today. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and share or comment below, and don't forget to like.